Hi everyone, my name is Lauren and I'm a first year dental student and in today's video I'll be sharing 8 tips for scoring high on the DAT. So I'll be sharing my advice that I learned when I was studying for the dental admission test to help you achieve the best score possible. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First things first, I highly recommend taking a diagnostic test. This is how I started my dental admission test studying and it was a really helpful way for me to see where I was starting out at. So on our website, we have four different diagnostic tests. They're each just 10 questions long, so it's a super quick way to just gauge where you're starting at. And I wanna make it a point to say that please don't let these scores or how many questions you get wrong discourage you because this is just a starting point and you will improve so much as you continue into your study. So next, I recommend making yourself a study plan or a study schedule. And this is incredibly helpful because it helps keep you accountable, it keeps you organized, and it can make the task of studying for the DAT feel a lot less daunting. So you can make your own and decide which resources you plan to use each day and which disciplines you plan to study. Or if that's not your thing, you can also use our pre-made study plans on our website, which we have for four, eight, and 12 week plans. Okay, so we've taken our diagnostic test, we've made a study plan, so now it's actually time to review the material. So I highly recommend that you review as actively as possible during the learning process because that's what's going to help the material stick all throughout your studying. So for example, if you're reading a set of notes, highlight the notes, take notes in the margins, pause and check in with yourself and make sure you understood what you just read. And when you're done reading the notes, you can take a practice test to really make sure that you understood what you read. So be as active as possible when you're studying instead of just being passive and that's really going to help the material stick. So tip number four is to quiz yourself constantly. Take practice quizzes, take practice tests, use flashcards. I think this is a great way to see what you know and what you still need to lear learn and work on. For me, this was really helpful and what was most helpful actually was learning from my mistakes. So every time I got a question wrong, I would see why I got it wrong and that really helped me remember for next time. So quiz yourself as much as you can. So the next piece of advice is specific to the PAT section and that is to use the PAT generators and to use them often. For me, this was the most helpful thing for studying for the perceptual ability test. Honestly, when I first looked at these questions, I was so overwhelmed. I had no idea how I was going to be able to tackle the PAT, but with using the generators and with constantly practicing, I found that I was really able to learn, learn different strategies and get much better and much more accurate with these questions. Tip number six is to study with varied resources. So everybody has a different study style. Some people prefer to read, some people prefer to listen, some people prefer to watch videos. I highly recommend figuring out what your study style is and how you learn best, and then using that to guide your DAT studying. So for example, if you learn best from watching videos, you can do most of your learning from the videos, and then whenever you wanna supplement that learning, you can always use notes or a different format to really reinforce the material that you learned in the videos. So next, I highly suggest taking full-length practice tests. So this is definitely not something you need to worry about until you're near the end of your studying, but taking full-length tests really is the best way to prepare yourself for the real experience of taking the DAT. As you probably know, it's a long test and it can be very tedious to do all the sections back to back. So by doing a full-length test, you really get a sense of what that's like and that can really prepare you for test day. Also, when you complete your practice test, come back to it later and see the questions you got wrong because again, that is one of the best ways to learn. So last but not least, tip number eight is to have a positive attitude. And I know that can be so difficult when you're studying for a test like the DAT because it can feel very stressful, it can be very overwhelming, but I really do believe that your attitude and your mindset matters. So do what you can to imagine yourself succeeding on this test, know that your hard work will pay off, and no matter what, you will achieve your dream of becoming a dentist.